uh, objective morality exist. Am I understanding that right? Uh, in the sense that we can make objective evaluations once we have a goal, the goal may ultimately be subjective. Okay, uh, that's a good explanation. And um, Cosmic Skeptic, I understand that you, or at least the last video I watched of you talking about this, I understand that you do not agree with this position. You uh, you believe in sub subjective morality, is no, that right? No, I completely agree with what Matt just said, that the basis, the baseline of morality is a subjective preference, but there are objective derivatives that we can uh, get from uh, that subjective goal. Oh, okay, okay, that, that clears it up. I guess there was just a misunderstanding of your views. Yeah, that's, uh, that's so, by, by the way, I just want to say that's probably uh, my fault. I've been, I've been talking a lot about morality and, and my views have been shifting and changing. Uh, it's, it's fairly solidified now, but I can see why people will have misinterpreted what I said in the past. I previously... Actually, I think it's my fault. Having spoken about morality so much... I think I, it's my fault. I advocated for it being objective <laughs> and had not been clear that the foundation of let's call it well-being for the, just the sake of what I've talked about, whether or not one cares about well-being is ultimately subjective right. and how and why we should care about well-being is ultimately subjective. I was definitely not clear of that early on. I've, be, I've gotten more clear. Yeah, th this is the disagreement that, that Steve and I essentially had uh, on YouTube. Um, look, I, I, when I called myself a moral subjectivist, and this is where you'll get the, that impression from, Moral subjectivism to some people means that if you say murder is wrong and I say it's right, that's just an opinion and the, subjective, uh, the subjectivity is lying at the level of the action. Well, I don't think that the subjectivity lies at the level of the action. I think it lies at the level of the preference to, it for, uh, to which the action is trying to, to, to achieve. So whether or not murder is, is right or wrong can be an objective derivative of the subjective desire for pleasure, but the desire for pleasure itself is subjective, if you see what I'm saying. And it's worth clarifying that moral subjectivist is distinct from moral relativist, which moral relativism is generally viewed as each individual culture defines what morality is. And I don't know that any of us would agree with no, that. I think we, we adamantly disagree because although the, base, the baseline is, is subjective, the baseline for well-being and pleasure is subjective, it's a universal subjective. And a universal subjective is distinct from an objective, uh, but the fact that it's universally subjective means that regardless of the culture, the objective derivatives that we can get from that subjective desire are going to be the same. Clear as mud? <laughs> yeah, about... Uh, so, all right, so, so my understanding is that you are not proponents of subject of um, moral relativism, but rather moral subjectivism. Is that right? Did I understand that right? Correct. Depending on what you're calling moral subjectivism, we have to be careful. I'm going. I'm going with Alex's definition so that I can say correct. <laughs> All right, and, and and so I guess I guess I'm a little confused. That uh, my my understanding was that you were a moral objectivist, Matt. Is it? And now, and now I'm hearing more subjectivist. I, I just must not be understanding something. So the, the example that I used, even at the beginning when I was talking about this, um, was, for example, a chess game. The rules of chess are arbitrary. We've changed them over the years. But analyzing a position is objective with respect to the rules. We can identify positions that are better and worse. We may not always be able to identify which position or which move might be the best move. And in some cases, we may not know enough to determine whether or not a move is better or worse, but there are situations when we do. And those assessments of a particular position and potential move with respect to the goal of not losing the game, that assessment is objective. Okay, so if I understand this right, so once we've established a goal, then we can objectively uh, determine what is the best way to achieve that goal. Precisely. But the goals might, themselves might be subjective. Exactly, yes. And, yeah. and I would say that rather than saying goals, I'd say goal, because there's only one goal. Ultimately, it all breaks down, I think, to well-being. To the well-being of mankind. And I would it, say it, that's a fact about you. I know you haven't asked my, for my opinion, but I would say it is a fact about you. You're, you are born not with a blank slate. Just as you're born with certain physical facts that are more tangible, such as limbs... You are born with certain facts, such as you don't want to be suffering, which means you already have the goal not to suffer. And there are right and wrong, objectively, verifiably, scientifically, right and wrong ways to achieve that. And, and I am at least somewhat, if not largely, in agreement with that. It's like, yes, somebody could sit down at the chessboard and not give a damn about losing. They may knock pieces around, they may try to make it illegal, but they're no longer playing the same game. 
Yeah. And so I think there are physical facts about the universe that we inhabit that dictate what is and is not in our best interest so that it's not just a matter of personal preference. There are people who don't want to live. Yeah, pra practical ethics is is saying, how can I best protect my king in this next move? Uh, meta ethics is saying, why the hell are we playing chess? Yeah, And they're two different questions. Uh, the important one when we're talking about objectivity and subjectivity is the meta-ethical question. And it's, it's important to ask, why are we playing chess? But the fact of the matter is that on a practical level, we are all playing chess. And as long as we are all playing chess, uh, there are objectively better ways to play than others. I see. Yeah, that, that, that clears it up a lot. A lot better okay. than mud, actually. And uh, um, the, the, the guy in the middle, your name is Rationality Rules, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry I didn't ask for your appearance. This is no, no, no. the first time I met you. And I was I was really calling because of Cosmic Skeptic and Matt because I thought they had a little disagreement and I was expecting there to be a... Well, um, you benefited from the fact that he and I sat around and talked about this for a few hours the other yeah, day. Yeah, I was about to say... Um, yeah, we, we I could have we would have hashed that out here, but if if you're interested to hear, uh, Matt and I did have a conversation about meta ethics um, for for an extended period of time. That's going to be going on my podcast if if you want to see that conversation, including animal rights and veganism including issues. So for all the people who've been waiting for that, I am going to enjoy that. It's going to be good. It's yeah. going to be heated. I'm not going to enjoy the comment section, but uh, <laughs> I'll enjoy I, the video. I, I'm glad. I'm thrilled that we did it. It'll it'll be up, and I'll also post a link to it from my Patreon as well. Uh, and what I would ask is that you actually, the people who care about this, who wanted the discussion to take place, mm. that you listen to it and think about what, what everything was said before you start hitting me with a bunch of questions because some of them may be answered. Some of them it may be obvious that I don't have an answer to, um, but it'll, it'll make future conversations on this a lot more efficient. Absolutely. Brilliant. The uh, last thing I'd say on that matter is that I can totally see why you got the assumption the cosmic skeptic here uh, his beliefs were subjective because at the beginning of our conversing, he was. So if you'd only seen that video, then you would have seen an awesome conflict here and I would have laid back and enjoyed the fire. <laughs> yeah, I was, that's, that's what I was, was expecting was a little yeah. bit more fire. But hey, you know what? Sorry I, to I disappoint. It, that, that's just the ape in me. I think it's better that we all get along. Mm -hmm. so, anyway, that, that's good. Is that uh, your goal? 